Indonesia's ASEAN Chairmanship in 2023 comes at a difficult time. But we embrace this responsibility with full hope and optimism. We are committed to proof that ASEAN matters to our peoples and the world. In Bajo, our chairmanship worked tirelessly to address the most urgent needs of our peoples. From protecting our migrant workers to our fishers, from fighting online scam industries to transnational crimes, from promoting EV ecosystem to One Health initiative. We the peoples, that is how the preamble of the ASEAN Charter starts. It means putting our people's interests above everything. Our chairmanship also wants to take ASEAN to the next level. We introduced ASEAN Concord 4 to provide a solid long-term vision for ASEAN 2045. With democracy, human rights, and international law as the pillars, we are working to strengthen ASEAN's agility and capacity in responding to crisis and emergency situations, including by strengthening the decision-making process. We agree to change the name of ASEAN premises in Jakarta to the ASEAN headquarters to reflect ASEAN's determination to strengthen its diplomatic processes for ASEAN's community building and bolster its role as a locomotive for peace, stability, and prosperity in the region. We are transforming ASEAN into an epicentrum of growth, bolstering our regional resilience, including in food, energy, finance, and health sectors, and preparing for the economy of the future, including green and blue economies. Finally, we are translating the ASEAN outlook on the Indo-Pacific into concrete and inclusive cooperation, turning containment into engagement and competition into collaboration. The ASEAN Indo-Pacific Forum held this week produced 93 projects of cooperation with a total value of 38.2 billion US dollar. No less than 54 countries now have acceded to the Treaty of Amity and Cooperation. This shows a growing acceptance of ASEAN norms and values. Our chairmanship still have some homeworks to do, including the situation in Myanmar. We have worked hard to encourage a peaceful solution as a family through the five-point consensus. More than 145 engagements have been done over the past nine months with various stakeholders in Myanmar, but distrust and differences remain deep. But we cannot give up now. ASEAN will continue to help the people of Myanmar bring back democracy and realize their dream for peace, stability, and prosperity. Thank you for your support for our chairmanship. Our journey is not yet over. We are now handing over the baton of ASEAN chairmanship to Lao PDR. Let us continue walking together towards a better future for our region.